Hello. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that I was told a couple of days ago by a few students regarding to one of the examples of Dowling's book, Mechanical Behavior of Material, and I'm using the fourth edition. The example is example number seven from chapter seven. The question says, the test data are given in table 7-7. For a static fracture of this material, including simple tension, simple compression, and two tests in compression with lateral pressure, P surrounding all sides of the test specimen. The applied stresses at fracture are denoted are denoted uh, sigma three and lateral stresses as sigma one and sigma two equals to minus P. And a couple of things are asked here to do. Uh, the first thing is fit the data on uh, to the equation seven point five seven fifty one to obtain values for M and tau Y and tau I and describe the Colomor failure developed line. Also calculate the mu uh, phi and theta c. Um, the question that I was asked was uh, about how to find these two variables a and b. So as we see in this table, we have a couple of uh, test data here. Uh, sigma three is three, sigma one and sigma two here is two, and that's for the first try. And for the second. Uh, try or second experiment sigma 1 and 2 are 0 and sigma 3 is minus 100 and so on so in order to find x uh, a and b uh, we need to use linear least square uh, method and I'm going to describe how to find that method here uh, so let's say uh, I'm going to copy the information from the table. Uh, I'm going to copy these information. This is sigma 1 and sigma 2 and sigma 3 and sigma 4. Um, okay. Sigma 1 is 0, sigma 3 is minus 100, sigma 1 is minus 100, sigma 3 is So 0 minus 100 minus 100 minus 700 minus 700 and for the third one sigma 1 is minus 200 and sigma 3 is minus 1230 and the unit of all of them are megapascal yes The equation that we have here is a x plus b equals to y, and this equation is described in the book. Uh, this is the equation I'm going to use here, and y is the differences between sigma one and sigma three, minimum and maximum of the normal stre uh, principal stresses, and x uh, is the summation of these two stresses. Okay, uh, so all these points can fit into this equation. Uh, for the first one, for the first case, case one, case two, and case three, I'm going to note here y is absolute value of sigma one minus sigma three, and x is sigma one plus sigma three. So for the first case, um, y is equal to the differences between these two numbers, which is 100, and x is the summation of uh, these two numbers, which is minus 100. For case number 2, y is the difference, which is 600, and x is the summation which is 800 and finally for case number 3 y is the difference of these two numbers is 970 and x is the summation of these two numbers which is 1430 okay 
So, um, isn't that this equation is valid for all these cases? So, um, if I want to rewrite this set of data in the matrix four, I can say um, minus hundred minus eight hundred. This number here. One, one, one. Uh, by saying that, I'm saying, for example, for the first line, minus 100x plus b equals to 100. So if I want to write this equation for the first line, a, I don't know what is a, x is minus 100, minus 100, plus b, I don't know how much is b, equals to y, which is 100. Okay, so these two equations are, these two coefficients are uh, the coefficients that we're looking for. Uh, okay, so if I look at the matrix 4, I can rewrite the same thing based on this matrix 4. And this is, val this is valid for all those three cases. Okay, I'm going to call this matrix matrix A. I'm going to call this one my matrix Q. And this is B. So A times Q equals B. Well, maybe I can use another name here because we have another B here. Um, I'm going to say this is R. Okay. And I'm looking for A and B. Or I can say I'm looking for Q, which equals A and B. Okay. In order to find this A, uh, no, sorry. In order to find this Q, when the size of A is greater than size of Q, you need to use a uh, couple of methods. One of the methods that we're gonna use is called um, least square uh, method or regression. So, in order to use that one, you have to find the transpose of A, and you have to multiply. Uh, this trans this matrix to both sides of this equation. So A transpose times A times Q equals to A transpose times R. Okay. Um, so I'm going to use the numerical value here. This is my A matrix. So A transpose will be I'm going to write A first, minus 100, minus 800, 101, and last number is minus 14. Okay, the transpose of this one will be 111, minus 100, minus 800. Uh, this times Q equals to A transpose, same matrix 1, minus 100, 1, minus 800, and 1, minus 14, 30. And R, which is this number, 100, 697. 100, 697. Okay, so I'm gonna find the numerical value for this guy here. Um, it will be. Two, six, nine, four, nine, zero, zero. Minus two three three zero 
minus 2, 3, 3, 0, and 3, 2 times, and I'm going to find the numerical value for the right hand side, and that will be 1, 9, 6, 9, 0, 0, and 17, 30. Okay, and now I can substitute this Q with the uh, values as parameters A and B. So we have two set of equations and we can find A and B here. So if that's my, I don't know, I'm call it M, that's my N matrices here. M times Q is equals to N. So if I want to find Q, I can say that's M inverse times N, or any other method that you can use. And when you solve this one, you can find A and B. And those A and B will be exactly the same A and B that are presented here. Okay, so just for a review of what I said, uh, the first thing we need to do, we need to rewrite our equations in terms of uh, matrices. So if you have three tests, it's going to have three uh, set of data here. Minus, uh, and if you have like five or six, these matrices will be five times two. And this is always like five times one, six times one, the number of tests. So when we write the equation based on matrices form like this, what we need to do, we need to uh, pre-post A transpose in both sides of the coefficient, uh, in both sides of the equation, and then we can just easily substitute the numerical value and find the answer for A and B. If you have any more questions, you can send me an email, and uh, if that question is uh, very common, I'm going to post another video about the question. Thank you.